This clip is about installing PostgreSQL in Debian 6. On this machine we've got the GNOME desktop, the default desktop installed. We can install PostgreSQL using the Synaptic Package Manager or from a terminal emulator where we use the command line. It's up to the user what they try but uh, let's explain a little bit about this first. If we go into Administration, Synaptic Package Manager you may have to put the root password in, but we've just opened this earlier, so we didn't have to do it this time. If we go into the search box and put in PostgreSQL, we can find a batch of listed <coughs> packages which we can install. But to a newcomer, it may be rather confusing. They may not know which one they have to install out of the list that's there. We scroll down a bit further there are even more of them um, so it may be easier to do it a different way and just follow some guidance using the command line so well, to do that we need to open a root terminal and then put some commands in so if we go to applications accessories we could use a root terminal from there but we just use an ordinary terminal login as root su and then the root password And then we can copy this. Now in the Debian guide to PostgreSQL it says you can install it by apt-get install, spaces between the words of course, PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL client and it may be worth putting the GUI tool in pgadmin3 which is useful for creating databases and so forth. So if we copy that a lot we can paste it into our terminal window here press enter and it will start to install those programs. It says it's 40.4 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to continue? Yes. So we'll put that in and we'll wait. Because we're running a screen recorder on this computer it's using some resource so the machine's running a bit slower than it would normally otherwise this would install very quickly but this will be a little while so we'll just watch this and be patient. We'll let it run in real time and uh, wait until it's complete. When this is finished we can install the um, shortcut, the uh, launcher for the pgadmin3 onto the panel at the top of the desktop. So just to recap this is the default GNOME desktop which is installed in Debian 6 if you don't choose anything else and we find this is quite convenient for our use and uh, it's very simple because if we have to reinstall the program any time then we just carry on as we were. If we personalise it it means extra time. This is installed and I can see the uh, light on the, for the hard disk on the machine is busy so it's actually installing all the packages but uh, we just have to wait for a while until it's complete. Now it's doing something now, it should soon be finished. This is Postgres version 8.4. The later one is 9, 9.1 and so on, but uh, that's the one that came with this particular version of Linux. OK, so that's there. If we want to see which packages were installed, we can go back to the Synaptic Package Manager. We can go back to our search box put in PostgreSQL and see which ones are highlighted. Let's give it a moment to search the database and find the installed packages. Now if we scroll down we can see a number of them there are highlighted in green and some more further down. And we can of course take a screen print. If we simply press the print screen button then Debian will save that on the desktop for us and that may be useful for reference. It's sometimes helpful when we uninstall programs to make sure we've uninstalled everything that was there. Now we can install our custom application launcher by clicking on the desktop and uh, following the prompts. We put in pgadmin3 here which is the command to start the program and if we click on the little elephant icon then it opens. 
just wait a moment, there we are. There are some databases we installed earlier when we were playing around with the Unicenter POS program. And we can delete those if we want, just drop them because they're no longer required. They're just um, leftovers from before. But we need to do something on passwords before we can access this fully. And we can talk about that in another clip. Also from the Debian guide it's telling us that we can log in here. I'll just clear this. Type in clear and press enter to clear that uh, terminal emulator window. If we type in su space dash space postgres takes us to the program that we've just installed and we call in psql a shortcut for postgresql and we can start getting into the program notice that these prompts here there was a hash for the root user and a dollar for the ordinary user so that's to distinguish one from the other so users don't get confused OK, so we've got Postgres. If we type in help, as it suggests, we can uh, see what help is available. So if we put in backslash h for help, we get these prompts, which um, show you some of the commands you can use for the database. And we can scroll down and find some more of them. But this is more to do with learning the program and how to use it than just installing it. And when we've finished with it all, we can press quit and come out of it. So we've installed the program, it's there and we can get to it from the command line or through the graphical user interface. We'll do some more clips on this later but I hope that was useful to somebody. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.